camera hijack. Look at that smooth flow. I need to get one of these. Look at that. Camera one, camera two. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Hello, Palpation Nation. Welcome to the vlog. Today, I am super excited for my special guests, the Axe family. So we have Cody and we have Taylor, and they drove all the way up from the U.S., and they're going to stay with us for a couple of days, and we're going to take them out on the road. You guys excited? Yeah, we're super excited. Thanks for letting us hang out and your hospitality and everything. That's <laughs> awesome. So. Uh, I'm going to cut to a little Axe family clip right now. Hey, welcome to Axe Family's YouTube channel. My name is Cody. My name is Taylor. For the past three and a half years, we've been living on a ranch. Another day on the ranch. Fence is on. Gotta let them know that you're friends with them. Trying to get Blippi to touch the electric fence. Garden, as you can see, and now we just need to. <laughs> we live on a ranch out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, tell us a little bit about the Axe Family Channel. What are you guys trying to do? Give, yeah. me, give me the short and, and uh, sweet version. Sure. So the last three and a half years we've been living on a ranch and doing ranch and stuff and then just recently we left the ranch and we got our Toyota Tacoma to a place where we can live out of it and we're just traveling basically all around North America meeting other YouTubers living the uh, dream like you and, <laughs> uh, you know going to national parks and stuff like that and so it's kind of transitioned from ranching to more travel but you know here we are we're gonna hang out with cows today there's so. gonna be all kinds of cows so so i'm the first stop right i'm the first stop on the whole adventure yeah you're the, the you're the first youtuber yeah yeah so we'll look sure. back at this day fondly right yeah <laughs> okay let's go We've had pretty good sedation every time, but she keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. How long does it usually take? Uh, just a couple minutes. Just to keep the baby still enough. Where was the break? It was right, right here. There. So there's a little bit of a callus there. Whoops. No? It's come feel. I think it's strong, much stronger than before. You think so? Yeah, actually it does. It was right. pretty wobbly before, eh? You think it's I think it's coming. Like that, yeah, before that laxity was like I'm still gonna put a splint on. Yeah. But I think we're winning. Yeah. Right? Like I guess actually it's it's just been two weeks with this cast yeah, and it this. wasn't healed hardly. Look at 
have it. You, you want to you want to cancel the trip and go straight into vet school, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you? Would you kill him? No. 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 If he said, "Okay, He's vet free. school time. Yeah. Eight more years, and then we're good." You know, just we figure it out. <laughs> yeah. That's all you can do. <laughs> so then go all the way up to your elbow and you feel down. The big kind of balloon feeling thing is the bladder, and then you'll feel uh, two kind of meat tubes that are, are coiled, and th that's her open uterus, so she's not so pregnant. She's not pregnant. So she was pregnant, and it would feel, feel they'd be meat like a mound. Meat tubes. You're referring to her uterus. <laughs> uterus as meat tubes. Aren't they like meat tubes? An open <laughs> uterus is like a coiled meat tube. So meat tube. It's nice and warm. <laughs> Definitely is a good way to warm your hands up. If, you know, they're freezing <laughs> on a cold day. Um, Open. Okay, back in the office now. I am doing a PowerPoint presentation on calf foot vaccination and then going to do a webinar for vets up north. That should take an hour and then we'll go back out on the road as the calls come in. But now my PowerPoint. Okay, I'll finish the webinar. Actually, did you eat yet? Not yet. Okay, we're gonna get lunch and then we're going to go off cutting deads. Everybody's favorite thing to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it. And you get to use an ax. Yeah. <laughs> did you bring your ax? No, I didn't. <laughs> Got the axe for the axe family. Yes. <laughs> Do you approve? Yeah. This is good standard issue cavet axe. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we just finished the post-mortem. The Axe family did great. I did not share any of the actual close-up pathology because there was a spectacular set of liver abscesses that they opened up, and you're going to have to see on their channel the abscess popping. Oh, I knew you guys would be mad. <laughs> okay, so go to the Axe family on YouTube, and you will get to see this video. It'll be spectacular with the little pimples just wanting to be popped so bad. <laughs> You, did. you guys did a good job. Okay, I'm gonna go check our schedule, see what else we have for today. If not, I think we're gonna try to get a little feedlot drone footage. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm sorry, but it's mail time. I've built up so much mail time this week that I just, I have to open the things, okay? So I opened one. I didn't know it was mail time. Oh. Nice. A little vest <laughs> from a Palpation Nation member down in Texas. <laughs> it's so cute. Finn's little fur vest. Like a Portland, Oregon, like oh, hipster. Nice. Right? That's straight up yeah, hipster. Dear Dr. Creelman, first we wanted to say hello to you and your staff and your beautiful family. What a great practice. Never realized about the cattle industry you support was so large in Canada before we began watching the vlog. Uh, finding you by accident on YouTube was a great blessing to us. We watch the vlog reports as often. Killer vlog 231 frozen. We noticed him shivering in the cold. It was like minus 15 or something crazy. So we decided to gift him with some winter uh, or some fun winter attire. We live in Texas, so we can't imagine that kind of cold. Hope he will get uh, these things and can wear them on cold days. <laughs> oh my goodness. So thank you so much. 
Thomas and Karen. Okay, the next one. Coming at us from the UK. Nolson's Yorkshire Cattle Doctor and Farrier. Wow. It was gifted Mr. Abraham Leal from his brother Stephen Leal in 1890 and then again to me, to Dr. Cody Krillman from your stockman friend David Teal at Sicklecroft Farm, Thorpe in Balm, England. January 23rd, 2018. So how many years ago was that? That's like 130 years ago. It's spectacular. Of all creatures in the creation for man, the cow kind is the best. That is super cool. That is very special. Thank you so much, David. I know David from Snapchat. David sends me the best snaps over in the UK. They have a bunch of snow right now. He's got his Palpation Nation hat. It's pretty spectacular. So thank you, David. I appreciate that a lot. Okay, last thing of mail time. You got a knife on you? Yeah. Always prepared. Sharp knife. Sharp like. <laughs> you don't need it. Hey Cody, here's some things for you. The mug I don't use. You can cover it with your logo. Also got some things in for the kiddos. Love the videos. Best wishes. Best wishes, Lucas. P.S. <coughs> Couldn't find a pen, sorry. So Lucas sent me a JB Hunt intermodal. I don't know what that is. A mug. Oh, that's pretty sweet. A cell phone mount for my truck. Now I need your knife. Just joking. <laughs> I'm always ready. Oh, it's a little pair of binoculars for the kids. Oh, and a compass for the kids. Diana's actually gonna steal this. Oh. Okay, Lucas, thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything with mail time. That was pretty cool mail time. Phineas got something. I got something. Kids got something. Diana got a compass. <laughs> Okay, we're all done the day with Axe family. We'll go back home and see the kids. Emerson and Neve were both obsessed with you guys last night <laughs> and this morning. So be prepared to be a human jungle gym. I watched Blibby. Blibby? I watched Whisper. A really good cow bet. Holy cow, I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs>